To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow beside the AutoCAD icon, hover over new, click drawing, and select ECAD 3D for Imperial Units and click open. And work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. Let's start from top view. So bring your drawing to top view, hover over custom view, click and select top. Start with circle, so type C for circle command. Click anywhere on the screen, type D for diameter option, and enter 55. I'm just going to move that away. C again for circle command. Locate center. Type D for diameter option and enter 37.77. Right click to repeat circle. Click center. D for diameter option and enter 23. Same process. Look at center. D for diameter option and enter 15. Another circle for 11 inches. Bring your drawing to southwest isometric. But before we proceed, make sure your setting matches with mine. Go down to the status bar and select dynamic input. Click polar tracking object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and dynamic UCS. The height of this object is 35 inches from this point up to this point. So select these three circles, right click, select move, from center, bring up your drawing for 35. And click that circle, move, specify base point, you can click anywhere on the screen and move your cursor downward for four units which is the distance from this point here to this point. Go to home, click this drop down arrow and select loft. Click this circle on this circle, enter twice. Extrude this one, select extrude command from the ribbon, bring your cursor downward for four units. Bring your drawing to front view. I'm just going to turn off the grid. I'm going to change this to wireframe. And change the orientation of the UCS by selecting the three point under coordinates panel. And click the quadrant. You can do shift right click and select quadrant. And then the next point is uh, another quadrant at the bottom to align the X axis along this line. And then you can click here to change the direction of the Y. I'm going to draw a guide or a line from the end point here up to this point the center of this uh, circle, which is 3.75 plus 9. So it is, uh, the total is 12.75. So type L for line command, 
from quadrant, bring it down along the x-axis and enter 12.75 and turn your crosshair or cursor to the right along the y-axis for two units. Now I'm going to create a cylinder or a circle first from this point and the cylinder is going to that direction so I have to change the direction of the Z parallel to the direction of the line. So this is the Z axis vector. Click it from under coordinates panel and click the endpoint to endpoint. Type C for circle command, enter and click the endpoint of that line. and enter 9, which is the radius of this circle here. Which is this one facing that way. Just gonna change this to shaded with edges. Now I'm gonna draw a line as a guide from the center to the center of the small circle so line from center to your right for 10 units type C for circle command click the endpoint type D for diameter option and enter Six, I believe. Yeah, it's six. Circle again. And center. Type D for diameter option and enter two. I'm going to copy this line. And attach it to the endpoint here. This endpoint here. And copy these two circles from endpoint to endpoint. Now extrude these circles. Towards the center, see that blue color? Just click here. Combine these three cylinders. So select um, Union Command from the ribbon and click the objects. Bring your drawing to front view. Type MI for Mirror Command, Enter. Select the object, enter, and specify first point of mirror line, so it should be from the center, and bring your cursor downward and follow that green dash line, and enter. Select no. Combine all the objects, select union command. And select shell from a solid editing panel click the object and go down to the command prompt and select add and then select remove and remove the faces this one this face 
this face and this face enter and select distance or the thickness of the shell is 2 Now extrude this one for four units as shown here. So extrude this upward for four units and use press pull command hover over this center left click let go of your finger bring your cursor upward and left click again. Combine this object and this object. Now apply fillet edge. Go down to the command prompt, select radius, and enter 5.98. Select this edge, this edge, enter twice. Right click to repeat fillet edge. Click this one, this edge, enter twice. Just gonna minimize this one. Bring your drawing to top view. Copy this drawing. Select slice command from the ribbon. Select this object. Specify starting point of slicing plane. So select quadrant to quadrant. And select this side to keep. This is just to show you what uh, happened inside. I think we are done. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification and comment below. Thank you. See you again.